It's a pleasant corner near Buffalo and Brown. Well, you go up and down these streets in Cleburne. Till you spot the black. You will not find anything like this. Up above. The sky up there turns dark. There's so many. They are unwelcome neighbors who've made a home in Cleburne. Oh, at least 200. Hundreds of vultures that swoop in. And they're, they're coming in now. Every single night. Oh, yeah, this is just the beginning. I mean, it gets nuts. Jeff Lay says it started about a month ago. I don't like it. This, this is not a scary street. <laughs> but it does look like a horror movie. <laughs> Massive wings fighting for room. They're just up there doing their thing. Filling up branches, squeezing on the roof. Oh, it's part of nature. And leaving their mark on two of the oldest homes in Cleburne. I have no idea what's gotten into these birds. No one knows why. No, but there's a lot of poo on the street there. <laughs> Covering my head, yes. <laughs> the mail carrier is on alert. But you can't protect your nose. Look, I mean, it's just the smell is really overwhelming. That tree has become an epicenter for these dang birds. So tonight, the city brought in the big guns. A few loud noises, six or seven pops and bangs. And As the sun came down. These are like a loud bottle rocket. Animal services loaded up. It's just a pyrotechnic launcher. You put the caps in there. Is this like the battle of the buzzard or something <laughs> tonight? No, we'll see. A after day one, we might have a fancy name for it. The it's vultures kind of never saw it coming. <laughs> None were harmed. The tree was bare. You can see just how many filled the sky. And when a few came back, they got the message. And we'll be back for the next few nights. We'll be back until they stop landing. Lasting buzzards takes work. That did it. Hopefully they... That is just beginning. Get the picture. I guess I'll wait till dark. <laughs> In Cleburne, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.